Hello friends, I'm not Jim Nance. This is Kurt Berglund with Replay Baseball 1980s Diamond Decades action. We haven't been to the 80s in our Diamond Decades very often, so thought we'd put one together. Uh, here's the info that you need. It is the top of the fourth inning and the 1982 Braves, the homestanding 1982 Braves, are leading the 84 Cubs two to nothing at this moment. The pitchers for the Cubs, left-hander Steve Trout, who was 13 and seven for the 1984 Cubs, more or less their number two starter, I guess. And he is being opposed by Rick Mailer of the 82 Braves, who was nine and 10. And I don't know what the Braves rotation was in 82. It's Phil Necro and, uh, no home runs in the game yet. It's 2-0 Braves. Uh, yesterday, which was opening day for these two teams, the Cubs beat the Braves 5-1, Sutcliffe over Necro. And home runs were by Ron Say, Gary Matthews, and Bob Horner. So the 82 Braves are looking to get even in this one. It is the... Top of the fourth inning, and it's 2-0 Braves. The lineups for today's game go like this for the 84 Cubs. The visiting 84 Cubs, it's Bobby Dernier in center field, Ryan Sandberg at second base, Gary Matthews in left field, Keith Moreland in right field batting fourth, Leon Durham at first base batting fifth, Ron Say at third base batting sixth, Jody Davis at doing the catching batting seventh, Larry Boyd, shortstop, batting eighth, and Trout is the pitcher. The only Cub to hit safely so far is Jody Davis with a third inning single, although Durham did draw a walk in the second inning. For the Braves, leading off in left field, it's Jerry Royster, batting second at shortstop, Rafael Ramirez, batting third in right field, Claudel. Washington, batting fourth in center field, Dale Murphy, batting fifth at third base, Bob Horner, batting sixth at first base, Bob Watson, batting seventh at second base, Glenn Hubbard, and batting eighth, and catching Bruce Benedict, Mailer, of course, bats ninth. All of the scoring happened in the bottom of the third. Glenn Hubbard let off with a double, Bruce Benedict flew out to left, and then Rick Mailer tried to sacrifice Glenn Hubbard to third base, and Leon Durham threw the ball down the right field line. So that was an error that scored Hubbard from second, and Mailer reached second on the error before Moreland could retrieve the ball and get it back in. Uh, Royster then singled Mailer to third, and Mailer subsequently scored on a ground out by Rafael Ramirez to, from Larry Boa to Leon Durham, and then Washington ended the inning on a grounder to Durham. So it's 2 nothing Braves. Uh, the top of the fourth for the Cubs will feature Sandberg, Matthews, and Moreland, the 2-3-4 hitters for the Cubs as they attempt to at least tie the score. Uh, so we've reached the top of the fourth. Let's get back to the game action. Here we go. All righty, here's Sandberg against Mailer. Sandberg, of course, is 0 for 1 so far in the game. The pitch from Mailer is a 4 6. That's a 5. And a 6 is second base. So that's grounded to Glenn Hubbard, who collects it and throws to Bob Watson for out number one. In the fourth, now it's Matthews. The Sarge is 0 for 1. He grounded out to first in the first inning. The pitch from Mailer is a 4-3. That is a 4. That's grounded to Chambliss. He's going to take it himself. And that's two outs in the Cub of fourth. And here comes Keith Moreland, who grounded out to second to lead off the second inning in his only at-bat today. Pitch to Keith. 6-3 is a 16 on Moreland's card, plus 3 makes 19 in column 6, and that's hit to center field, right field. But L. Washington is back a few steps for that one, and he's going to put it away for out number 3. So the Cubs are retired in the 4th. We're going to the bottom of the 4th, and it's 2 nothing Bravos. Trout back out for the 4th. 
He will face Murphy, Horner, and Watson in the Braves' fourth. Murph is 0 for 1, the pitch. 6 1 is an 11 on Murphy's card, plus 2, plus 1 makes 12. We got a raised number. Uh, okay, so first we gotta roll and see if it's a home run. And anything but a one and it's gone. It's gone. But now, now we have to look and see if it's higher than the pitcher's raised number. If it is, it stands. Well, it is going to have to be higher than a five, so it's going to have to be a six. It's gone. So Murph went to Great Baines to launch that one out of here, and it's 3 nothing Braves. Trout didn't give up many dingers in 84. Actually, he didn't give up any dingers, period. A lot of hits, but not a lot of home runs. The pitch to Horner is a 4-2. That's a 5, and that's hit to second base. That's Sandberg. He's going to throw to Durham for out number 1 in the bottom of the 4th. Now it's Watson. Watson's 0-for-1. Pitch to Bob is a 6-6. Six, six. Uh oh 11 plus 1 makes 12. Anything but a 6, and it's gone. <coughs> Excuse me. Two home runs in the inning for the Braves, and suddenly it's 4 nothing. The Cubs are going to get action going in their bullpen. As the home run ball seems to have bitten Steve Trout on the keister. Rich Bordy is starting to throw in the Cub bullpen. And here comes Glenn Hubbard. Hubbard, one for one, a double, a run scored. The pitch. 3 5 is a 20, plus 2 makes 22 in column 5, and he walked him. So a man on with one out now. We're moving to the action chart as Bruce Eggs Benedict comes to the plate. We're looking in column M. Pitch, or the, yeah. It's a two plus two that makes four, so it's a pass ball check. We have to check Jody Davis's pass ball rating. I don't think it's going to be higher than a three. No, I mean, it is going to be higher than a three, and it is, so no pass ball. Benedict with Hubbard at first and one out. The pitch from Trout is a 4-4. Four, four. That's a one. Hit to first base. Durham gloves it, fires to ball for one. The relay back to Trout at first is a soul-crushing Rally killing double play that ends the Braves fourth, but on a pair of solo homers by Murphy and Watson, it's now four nothing. Braves as we go to the fifth. Mailer cruising along, except we have to pay attention to his fatigue number. Twenty four batters faced, and then fatigue might become an issue. He has faced. 13 to this point. So Durham, Say, and Davis up in the top of the fifth. The pitch. 6-6 six, six is a, we gotta check the ballpark. And there's a one on Mailer's cards. So that's gonna add two to the roll. Left-handed batter at the plate. It's a four. And that is a 9. So we add 2, and that's an 11. And that's a base hit for Durham. He's on, and it's 4 nothing. so he's not going to get too adventurous on those base paths. Here comes Ron Say, a double play target. And in fact, that's what he did back in the second inning. 0 for 1 for Ron today. Mailer, the stretch, and the pitch. 1-4 is a 35, plus 3 makes 38 in column 1. Ground ball, Horner to his left. He throws to Hubbard at second. The relay to Watson, not in time. Oh, it is in time. He beats, it's a soul-crushing, rally-killing, 5-4-3, twin-killing. 
turned by the Braves, grounded into by Say, so two double plays for Ron in the game, and with two outs in the fifth, now it's Davis. Mailers allowed two hits in four and two-thirds innings, the pitch. 5-5 five, five is a 15, plus two makes 17 in column five. Chopped on the infield off Miller's glove. It rolls toward Ramirez. Jody Davis is going to beat it out. A man on with two outs now for Boa. Trout on deck. A butt will not bat, I am sure. If it gets to that point, two five is a 50, plus three is 53 in column two. That's a comebacker, gloved by Mailer. He turns and flips to Watson, and that will retire the Cubs in the fifth. So we've gone four and a half. We're halfway through, and it's four nothing Braves. For the Braves in the bottom of the fifth, it'll be Mailer leading off, and then the top of the order with Royster and then Ramirez. Mailer will for one, but scored a run. Reached on Durham's error to get things kind of rolling back in the Braves' third. 3-6 is a 42, plus 2 makes 44 in column 3. That is a leaping catch made by, oh no, by, no, it's a base hit. It's a base hit. Trout's a lefty, so that's a hit for Mailer, and that's going to bring up Royster. Bordy frantically getting warm again in the Cub bullpen. Ramirez on deck. Nobody out. Trout the stretch and the pitch. 6-5 is a 36 plus 1 makes 37. Hey, struck him out. It's a broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas. Three strikeouts for Trout on the day. One gone in the Braves' fifth. Here's Ramirez. Mailer still at first base. 3-6 is a 42 for Ramirez. Plus 2 makes 44 in column 3. Base head to left field. Drops in front of Matthews. Look at Mailer motoring to third. Sarge throws it into second to keep the double play in order. And that's going to bring up Washington. Might be Trout's last batter. Murphy on deck. Braves are a big hit from running away with this thing. Although we still have a ways to go here and Mailer's almost out of gas. Washington 0 for 2. Pitch to CW. Oh, they we're going to do the infield in at the corners halfway up the middle. The pitch. 5-3 is a 4, plus 1 makes 5 in column 5, and that's to third base. First base is not open, so it's grounded to say... Ron will make the play to first as Mailer holds at third and Ramirez advances to second. So it's second and third now for Murphy. A lot of options here. Second, third, two outs. Murphy at the plate, of course, the 82 MVP. They could go to Bordy here, but they're not gonna. They're gonna try and get one more out out of Trout. And this is where the Firestone hits the road. Steve Trout, the stretch, the pitch home. 3 1 is, uh oh, one of those loopers. We got two from Trout's card coming. Column three is a three. We got two from Trout's card, plus four makes it a short fly ball center field. Here comes Dernier, and he puts it away for out number three. The Braves threaten, but do not score with a pair of hits. They leave two, and after five, it's four-nothing Bravos. 
Trout will lead off the Cubs sixth inning, but he will not bat. As the Cubs are as the yeah, the Cubs need to get something going. And Steve Trout's not the batter to do it. So the pinch hitter is going to be going to be Thad Bosley. The 84 Cubs, one of the pinch hitter extraordinaires of the 84 Cubs. Trout, for his part, went five innings. He allowed six hits, four runs. Two of them were earned. One walk, three strikeouts, uh, two home runs. He did not hit a batter, and he did not uncork any wild pitches. He is, though, on the hook for the loss. Bordy is still throwing in the Cubs bullpen. He has been joined by George Frazier. A pair of righties. Cubs don't have a lefty in the bullpen. And... Bosley will lead off the sixth. Dernier is on deck, then Sandberg. Mailer winds and delivers a 4-1. That's an 11. That's to first base. Watson is a three. That means we got to do an error check. Watson is a 66, and he makes that play. Unassisted. One out in the sixth, and now it's Dernier. Uh, this is batter number 19 for Rick Mailer. The pitch, 5-5 five, five is a 20, plus 3 is a 23 in column 5. For Dernier, he walked him. But down 4 in the 6th inning, even though he's a good bet to steal, it's probably not a good idea to send him, so I'm not going to do that, but... He can motor. Dernier, pretty amazing in 84 with the stolen bases, the havoc on the bases, 45 steals, but, man, he was everywhere. One out, one on, Sandberg at the plate. And the Braves are going to get action going in their bullpen because things can get out of control in a hurry against these Cubs. So it's going to be Bedrosian. And Raboski starting to throw. Double-barreled action for Joe Torre in the Braves bullpen. Mailer the stretch and the pitch to Sandberg is 0 for 2. The pitch, 2 fours of 4, plus 3 makes 7 in column 2. That's popped up. Foul territory, there goes Hubbard. And he's going to take it for out number two. Here's Matthews, the Sarge. Dernier still at first. Four fives, a five. First base, Watson's a three. That makes eight. And he'll take it himself. And that will retire the Cubs in the sixth. Mailer's shutout continues. He has now faced 19, 20, 21 batters, so he's okay fatigue-wise, maybe for another inning. Then things will get a little testy. New pitcher for the Cubs will be George Frazier. He will bat in the ninth spot. George Frazier in 1984 was 4-10 and 10 with a 6-3 and three one loss record. 4-10 ERA, 6-3 and three one loss, 3 saves, 63 innings, 37 games. And joined the Cubs 
Oh my gosh, I'm brain locking on this. I believe he joined the Cubs as part of the Sutcliffe trade, I want to say. No, maybe not. I don't know. All right, so in the Braves' six, it's Horner, Watson, and Hubbard, unless there are changes. 4 nothing Atlanta. Horner's 0 for 2. The pitch to him. 5-5 five, five is a 20. Plus 2 makes 22 in column 5. He walked him. Not a good start to the relief appearance for George Frazier. Watson coming to the plate. I'm not going to hit for him, at least not yet. But we do have to check the action chart, and that's an 11. Balk check. If the blue die is higher than the season balk rating, and I believe it is. That is, yes, that is a balk. So that will send Horner to second. Watson's still at bat. Frazier, the stretch, and the pitch to Watson. Three, two is a two. A five is two more. That makes four in column three. It's to right field. Here comes Keith Moreland. He's going to make the catch. And Horner will hold at second. So Hubbard comes up now. Benedict on deck. Then Mailer. Frazier the stretch. The pitch to Hub. Six, six. Ooh. Okay, so we got a three on Frazier's card coming. We got to do an outfield or a uh, home run check. It's a four. Hubbard is a right handed batter. That's a 10. And a three from Frazier's card is hit to left and deep. Matthews to the wall. It's gone. Hubbard's left the building. So has Elvis. And it is six nothing Braves at the launching pad. Now it'll be Benedict with one out facing Frazier. The pitch. So Bruce is a 4-6. That's an 18. Plus 2 makes 20 in column 5. Chopped on the infield off Frazier's glove. Rolling towards Zandberg. He picks it up. He can't make the play. Benedict legs it out, if that's the expression I'm looking for. And it's going to be Mailer. Coming to the plate with the action chart in play. We got a two, it's a P-O, a posture asterisk. Pickoff chance on the lead runner. Hold rating is three. Blue die is higher than the pitcher's hold rating. The runner gets back safely, it is. So Benedict gets back to first and Mailer's still up there. Frazier, the stretch, and the pitch. Ugh. It's a 1-5. That's a 4 plus 1 from Frazier. Hey, struck him out. Baked beans. Gas. One strikeout for Frazier. Two outs in the Braves' sixth. And now it's Royster. Benedict still at first, six nothing Braves, the pitch. Five, two is a 32, plus two makes 34 in column five. Hey, he struck him out. That'll end the Braves six, but they add two more on a home run by Rub-A-Dub Hub. So it's six nothing after six innings for the Braves. Coming up for the Cubs in the seventh, it's Moreland, Durham, and Say. Keith, 0 for 2. The pitch, 2 6, is, ooh, we got one of those loopers. We got one of those loopers. Heading to the outfield, that's to center field. Can Dernier get there? It's a 5. I'm sorry, can Murphy get there? No, he can't. It's going to drop, and that's a hit for Moreland. Bedrosian and Roboski get up again, 
and Durham and Say are next. Durham one for one with a walk. Cubs with a chance to get back in at the pitch. One, two is a four, plus two makes six. Hey, struck him out. That is strikeout number two for Mailer. Here comes Say. This is batter number 24. So after this, we gotta watch for fatigue. Ron, two double plays in the game so far. The pitch, six, two is a nine. Plus two from Mailer's card. We gotta check the ballpark. It's a one. That is a right-handed batter, and that is gonna be to left and deep. Royster back, gone for say, and all of a sudden it's six two. Jody Davis coming up. Davis, two for two, Boa on deck, 6-2 Braves, the pitch. 3-3 three, three is a 32, plus three makes 35 in column three. That's to center field, and it's going to split Royster and Murphy. Jody Davis is going to have himself a two-base hit, and that is going to end Rick Mailer's day. So let's give you his numbers. Six and the third innings before the wheels fell off and fatigue became a problem. Two runs so far, both earned, but Davis is Mailer's responsibility on first base. Two walks for Rick, two strikeouts for Rick. He didn't hit anybody and he didn't throw any wild pitches. He is in line for the victory. And here comes Steve Bedrosian to face Boa. Bedrosian will bat in the nine spot in the order. And that is the end of Mailer's Day, but a good first start for Rick. Roboski's going to continue to stay loose in the bullpen. Boa is up, it's the seventh inning. Davis on second, one man out. In the on-deck circle is Richie Hebner, who will bat for Frazier, unless Boa lines into some kind of a double play. So Hebner flexing his muscles on deck. The pitch to Boa, who is 0 for 2. From the Drosian is a 2-5. That's a 50, plus 1, makes 51 in column 2. Comebacker to Bedrosian, he knocks it down, he picks it up, he throws to Watson, and there's two down now as Davis sprints, if that's the term I'm looking for, to third base, and he's there with two outs, and here comes Hebner. Hebner will bat for Frazier. Had some injury trouble, but 44 games, 81 at bats, 333 on the season. With a 444 slugging mark. This dude is dangerous, but they're not bringing Roboski in for this. They're saving Roboski for later. Two outs, Davis at third, 6 2 Braves. The pitch to Hebner. 2 5 is a 4, plus 1. With an asterisk. Makes 5. Hey, struck him out. Bedrosian gets the Braves out of a unfortunate seventh inning with the lead. It's six two Braves after six and a half. Time to stretch them out at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. New pitcher coming for the Cubs. And that will be Warren Brewster. To face Ramirez, Washington, and Murph. 
Brewster in 41 games, 64 innings, 311 ERA, 1-1 one one record, and three saves. Frazier's day is done. He went one inning, two hits, two runs, both earned. He walked a batter and struck out two. There is one home run on his ledger. And here comes Brewster. Brewster will bat ninth in the order. And Ramirez is one for three. Here comes Rafi. The pitch is a 2-4. That is a 50. And plus three makes a 53 in column two. Combacker, gloved by Brewster. He takes a couple steps toward Durham. And there's one out. Now it's Washington. C-Dub is 0 for 3. Pitch to him is a 4-6. That's a 5. Plus 1 is to first base. That's Leon Durham. And he's going to flip to Brewster covering for out number 2. And Murphy. Murphy had a solo homer in the 4th. He's 1 for 3. Bottom of the 7th, 6-2 Braves. The pitch. Three fives of three plus two plus one makes four in column three, and that's to right field. Here comes Moreland, and he's going to make that play in Keith Moreland style in right field, and that'll end the seventh for the Braves. He played seven complete, and it's 6 2 Atlanta. Top of the order coming for the Braves, or for the Cubs. Janier, Sandberg, and Matthews. Janier 0 for 2 with a walk. They're down by 4. The pitch from Bedrosian is a 4-1. That's a 5. That's hit to first. That's Watson. He's going to flip to Bedrosian covering, and there's one gone. Now it's Sandberg. Right now, 0 for 3. The pitch. 3 4 is a 57 plus 1 makes 58 in column 3. Rare play check. And it's a dribbler toward the mound. Bedrosian fields it. Need a 6 to get him at first. Don't get him. Infield hit for Sandberg. One out, one on, and here comes the Sarge. Now Garber is going to start to throw in the Atlanta bullpen. Raboski is throwing now as well. Matthews 0 for 3. The pitch to the Sarge from Bedrock. 3-3 three, three is one of those loopers. We got a one, that's one for Bedrosian. And a two makes three, that's four in column three. That's to right field, here comes Washington, and he's got it for out number two. Here comes Moreland, Durham on deck. Bedrosian the stretch, Moreland's one for three of the run scored, the pitch. 3-6 is a 42, plus 1 makes 43 in column 3. Leaping catch by Ramirez to end the inning. We've played 7 and a half. It's 6-2 Atlanta, and the Cubs threatened but did not score in the 8th. Brewster coming back out for his second inning of work. Horner, Watson, Hubbard coming up. Horner 0 for 2 with a walk with a run scored. Brewster winds and delivers to Horner. 3 1 is a 31 plus 3 makes 34 and count 3. Hit to right field and deep. This is going to get over Moreland's head and bounce off the wall. Horner around first. He's going to reach second. And the Braves have another run in scoring position with nobody out. It's Watson. Cubs have no left handers in the bullpen. But Stoddard is going to get up and start to throw. Watson has homered, so he's going to bat. 
Brewster the stretch, the pitch. 6-5 is a 16, plus one makes 17 to left and deep. Gary Matthews on the track. He puts it away for out number one. He fires it back in as Horner retreats to second base. Here's Hubbard, two for two with a two-run homer, a double and a walk. Good day for Rub-A-Dub Hub. Bottom of the eighth. Hubbard, the bitch. Five, six is a three. Plus one makes a four with a raised three. And is grounded to Boa. And he's got it and throws to Durham for out number two. Now it's Benedict. With Bedrosian standing in the on-deck circle. Bruce to the stretch. The pitch to Bruce. 2-2 two, two is an 11. Plus three makes 14 in column two. It's a base hit to center field. Around third comes Horner. Here comes Jernier's throw. It's cut off. Horner scores. It's seven to two. Benedict with an RBI single. Braves fans root their approval. And Benedict is up and they're going to, I'm sorry, Bedrosian is up and they're gonna hit for him. It's gonna be Wissington, Larry Wissington, to bat for Bedrosian. Benedict at first. Two outs. Wissington, left-handed pinch hitter, 238 on the season. 339 on base, Brewster, the stretch, and the pitch. 2-5 is a 16, plus 3 makes 19 in column 2, center field, Dernier's got it. But the Braves add a run on two hits, they leave one. And after eight complete, it's 7-2 Atlanta. The new Braves pitcher will be Raboski to finish this off, maybe. Although Garber is still standing on one of the bullpen mounts. Bedrosian went one and two thirds. He allowed one hit. He struck out one, and that's all he had going. Raboski is not eligible for a save because the Braves lead by five. Durham will lead off, then say, then Davis. Ravosky winds and delivers. Five, six is a four, plus four makes eight, and that is a walk in column five. So Durham's aboard to start trouble. And Garber's starting to throw now a little bit. Here comes Say. Cubs down by five. Say hit a two run homer to account for the Cubs scoring. Back in the seventh pitch to Ronnie is a. Three, and that's to shortstop, and that's Ramirez, and Ramirez is a one, and the infield at halfway. To Hubbard for one, the relay to Watson is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing double play. Ron says third of the day. Ironically, that's a record held by Joe Torre of the opposing Braves, who did that four times in one game. Jody Davis, three for three. Two outs in the ninth inning, nobody on. The pitch to Jody. Six, six with a six. Uh-oh. <laughs> Plus five from Raboski. Al got taken deep a few times in 82. That's a five. That's to left and deep. Royster to the wall, but it's gone, and Jody Davis has himself a four-hit day. It's 7-3 now. 
Atlanta leading. Boa is up, and they're going to hit for him. The pinch hitter for Boa will be Woods, Gary Woods. Two outs in the ninth. Woods hitting for Boa against the left-hander, Ravaski. Garber ready to go. The pitch. 3-1 is a 4. Plus 1 is a 6. In column 3, it's the center field. Here comes Murph. He's got it, and that's the ball game. So the Cubs in the ninth score one on one hit. They don't leave anybody. And Roboski closes out the deal. He pitched one inning, one hit, one run, one walk. Didn't strike out anybody. but did allow a home run. So the win goes to Mailer. He is 1-0. The loss goes to Trout. He is 0-1. No save in the game. The line score for the victorious 82 Braves, seven runs, nine hits, and they committed no errors. For the vanquished 84 Cubs, three runs, on six, on eight hits, and they committed one error, and it was a costly one. All right, so each team is now at one and one. Thank you for joining me for Replay Baseball Diamond Decades 1980s. Tomorrow, we return to the 1972 Angels replay that we have going where the Angels are now in a series in Texas. And Nolan Ryan will be on the hill against Bill Gogolewski for the homestanding Rangers. Hope you'll join me. Thanks again. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for lots more. And this weekend, I'll have a Sabretooth uh, demo, a Sabretooth baseball demo coming up for you as well. So thanks again. Have a good day. So long, everybody.